Megan from Clutter Crafter and today's video is going to be my bullet journal for the month of March and let's flip that open and I'm going to take this paper clip off because I don't have a lot of room and I don't want to bend it but this is one of the items that I won from I'm Cool Mom Starting off, I have just a simple Hello March, and I chose to go with orange for the main color of this of this month. And instead of doing a calendar like I did in February, I decided to do a little merch at the glance or merch at a glance, and. As you can see, I got the days of the week going down the side, and I have it split up. I start my weeks on a Monday, but I plan. And then all the highlighted areas are when I post, and this is going to be like the main page that I look at for when I'm posting. And then when uh, there's something that co that's coming up in this month that's not dealing with posting something for YouTube, then I'll write that in another color, possibly pink, I think I chose. This is the other pen that I'll be using. It's a Uniball Vision, and it's just pink. Last month I used purple. And the markers and the pens that I used for this are this Color Factory brush tip marker for the orange. Then I used a, a Studio Roller Grip liquid ink in black. Then I also used these pens that I got from eBay with the different nib brush nib sizes so they're the main pens that I use and over here I have projects for March I've kind of been liking the minimalist type look but still have a little color I might add some washi tape into this and then I have March favorites um, it's probably going to be the same as January and February. Then I decided to do a Happy Mail tracker because I'm involved in a lot of swaps. And as you can see, I have one coming up that I have to do. But I have who, what theme, and then I also write down what kind of swap. Like if it's um, a stamped image swap, a die cut pocket letter, then do I include goodies? the date to send by and then sent and received and I'll check those off if I, once that happens the next page we get into the weekly spreads uh, and I included some more Dutch doors last month I've done the Dutch doors this way so I decided to change it up and all I did for that I didn't really measure I just folded the page in half, creased it, and then cut along the crease. So again with a minimal, minimalist, um, and I used a stamp set for these days, which is moments like these by stamping up, and I used the days of the week and then notes. And I started on a Wednesday because that's when March starts. It's the first day that I have notes here. My water tractor. I've done triangles this time. And then I start when I plan my weeks. I start on a Monday. So it's just easier to do it that way. And then on the back I decided to do a currently page. So currently listening, watching eating, making, 
feeling and loving and then continued on with today's of the week and that is the same I've done the same layer I like to be consistent so and I just highlight the week that it is so I don't have any of the days of the week um, with the headers I just refer to here and so far everything that I have planned out is the videos that I'm posting uh, like and when I have to upload them so I have a little sneak peek to some of the items there but for what I'm doing that week I will plan it when the day comes or when that week comes just so currently again and the rest of the days of the week that's the same for here and then the last page I didn't do a Dutch door because this was the only two pages I had left and then that's and then I accidentally uh, highlight it right here we know it's supposed to be over on this page for the notes in the water and then I also have the, a little calendar and then that is the end of my journal I just have this page which I'll probably do some doodles or some more scratch pad and then the next journal I'll be using for my bullet journaling is this one that I got off of I got at Walmart it's the same height but it's wider and I like that it has an elastic closure and it also has a little page mark again it's aligned I don't mind that at all I would prefer I uh, either a grid or dotted line or like dotted paper but I honestly don't care if it's lined or not but I hope you like this video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye and happy crafting <laughs>